do 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 the Boston Society for the, for the Age. Uh, this is a little bit later in the day, much later in the day. Uh, and I realized because, you know, I have my uh, have my, my diary that's, well, I've, I've done all I'm going to do in a diary. I, I got notes all the way. Now I'm using some of the pages to do some other stuff. Uh, but I have my diary, and in my diary, unbeknownst to a whole bunch of people, maybe not unbeknownst to you because I told you, but in the back of the diary, uh, Uh, I have uh, I have some charts. Uh, it's uh, my Rosicrucian thing, talking the phases of life, the, f the four the four phases that 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 you go through every year. Uh, of, of not every year, uh, every nine years you go through phases. Uh, there's a physical phase, uh, the mental phase, the sexual phase, the spiritual phase. These are, these are uh, vibrational phases, by the way. Then I have my uh, my numerology. Uh, uh, Cheat chart there, you know, so I can decode things. Uh, well, I should decode that. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, I think. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I say, of course, but what the hell? I have a calendar. I'm into 18 months calendar. When I when I started going to uh, to India, uh, when I started my uh, uh, <laughs> what do you call that? My my therapy, whatever have you. I started a calendar. I started back there, April, the end of April. Uh, May and I went all the way through June, July, now we're in August, and uh, the same thing. I just realized today is a blue moon day. Hey, blue moon! Once in a, everyone say once in a blue moon, you know. Well, the next blue moon after today, the ninth. Well, today I'm in, I'm in Southern Africa. We're 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 the nineteenth of August right now, and it's a blue moon. Which means it's going to be a full. It's going to be a full moon tonight, because it's a blue moon. Because it's a, I think the blue moon is, is twice in a month. Look, it's something. Don't worry about it. You, you could look it up. I could look it up, but I ain't gonna look it up because you could look it up because you're perfectly. Look, okay, let me let me keep on going. The next blue moon after today is not going to be until May thirty first, twenty twenty six. That's a full year and a half or more. You know. I said, what's the significance of blue moon to you, brother? Of course, I'm wearing blue. Uh, I put this on because of the blue moon. Here's the thing. On a blue moon, I can curse on a blue moon. Yeah, I can use uh, <coughs> foul language on a blue moon. So, I don't know if I'm going to use it now, but I, I can. You see? Now you say, hey, Ian, I'm explaining the blue moon. I'm playing, but, 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 stick with me for just a bit. Look, I'm not going to be, I, am, I might be long, but... I do the essence right, right quick. Look, when I was, uh, as a younger man, I came across this thing that said basically a uh, a man becomes a man when uh, well let me go back a woman becomes a woman when she's a uh, uh, nice trim. Well, I didn't do nothing. But, uh, a woman becomes a, a a woman when she's twenty five years old. That makes a lot of sense. And a man doesn't become a man until he's fifty two. Now this is under uh, 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 American Indian or autochthonous Indian, whatever, North American law. Somewhere I picked it up. Don't ask me where. Go, you're looking up for yourself. You know, you're just the internet. You're supposed to be doing some research, right? Okay. I should start cursing. I said, yeah, yeah, you dumb motherfuckers, you're looking up for your goddamn self, man. Don't be, every time somebody talks on the internet, you just believe everything they say, you know. And no, no, get off your lazy fucking asses and do some work. Okay, sorry. So you see, it's a blue moon. I can curse on a blue moon. I will tell you why in a little bit. Let me go back. So what I, so what it is is interesting. Interestingly enough, uh, on a, uh, when when a woman is twenty five, the first of the twenty five is when everybody says scientists now say that the brain, human beings, sort of close up, the, the skull finally closes up. So that makes perfect sense. But also the optimal time for a woman supposedly, look, uh, look it up. I told you, lazy, <laughs> you need to look this shit up yourself, right? So the optimal time to have a baby is between 25 and 30, right? It suggests you should have only two or three babies, whatever it is. Hey, give, come, give, my mama had me when she was 25 years old. Hey, 
I'm a perfect example of, uh, you know, seven is one of my, don't, don't get, let, let me keep on going. Uh, and then you say, okay, that don't make me. You say, no, no. They mean, I guess they mean the maturity of a man. So that, I took that in my head, right? It's just stay, stuff, stuff comes from my head and just stays in my head, right? And so I came up with this thing, basically, that if a man doesn't become a man until they're 52, and they're, they're mature, they, they stop all this philandering or whatever they, whatever we, you know, stop being, being, being doggies, you know, not doggies, dogs. Stop being dogs and, and looking for doggies, you know. Stop, you know, we be more, we be respectful and, and always, we don't be cursing and fucking carrying on and all that stuff. No, we don't do that shit. No, no more, no more of that, right? At 52, but not really. So I, I come, because I, I, I go in threes too, so like 12, uh, one and two is 12, that's, the, well, one and two is three, and then 12 is the one and the two. So in my head, I start, I'm a ritual person. I make up rituals all the time. So I said, okay, when I'm 52, that means that I have 12 more years to be uh, an irresponsible, dumbass, you know, motherfucker. That's 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 all. That's that. You know what I mean? I got that. Those those 12 years to clean my act up, right? Because when I'm 64, that's when I start entering my eldership, and I would I call it. I actually call it my baby eldership, but you can't say that. But you know, my 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 first my eldership, right? So at 64, I definitely. Gotta stop cursing, you know. Be more, you know. Be be uh, uh, more I say respectful. But, but whatever you, whatever you, look. I'm, I'm supposed to be more responsible. Act like an elder, right? Because I'm sixty, and I'll be fixed sixty-four, right? But then I was thinking, then, and, and, and so because of that, I say so that I can curse, I can curse and carry, you know, until then. But uh, but also in this in this uh, thing, I said, well, when I got to be sixty-four, I said, well, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't curse, you know what I mean? I should be, you know, blah, blah. I should be like a, you know, when, when those people go back to church, you know, they also they get righteous because they get closer, they're closer to their demise or closer to their leaving, so they they want to get right with God and shit, you know. <laughs> no, nah, man, it's just like, it's not me. Anyway, so so I, I figured what I would do is I would stop, definitely stop cursing, right? In public, right? But then I, I read this book one time, uh, Pagan Spain by uh, Richard Wright. It's, a, it's not a, not, it's a fiction. It's a non-fiction book. He, he was in Spain reporting on Spain. You know, oh, another really good Richard Wright book, by the way, is uh, Black Power. That's when I first learned about God. We won't get into that right now. But a uh, pagan Spain. It's about Spain, right? And one of the things he points out is that you know the fl the flamenco dance, right? And you have the women. They they, they sexualize. You know, what I mean, they they have the, the low cut. You know, they show their you know the cleavage and stuff like that because they have to have like an out. You know what I mean? It's like an outlet. The flamingo dance itself is like an outlet. It's like a, a bull and 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 and, and, uh, and the matador is it's, it's highly it's highly charged. It's highly sexualized dance. That's what that was. That's what the uh, flamenco is. So, but he was bringing out the fact that you need a, a, a and, and that's the other thing he was talking about. Yeah, he was talking about the the uh, the Catholicism. And um, I don't know if I got it from there or I got it from something else. But when but when they're gonna have the uh, what do you call that? Uh, the Mardi Gras, when that comes up, you know, the the the, 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 the day before, or the week before, whatever, sometime before the, the Catholics go into their, uh, uh, when, when you fast for 40 days and the 40 night thing, you know. Uh, so they, they have to be pure for 40 days and 40 nights or whatever. And so they do that last sitting, the, uh, the, the, the whatever Wednesday, the, 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 whatever they call it, you know what I mean. I'm not too, well, I grew up Catholic, but I don't like to acknowledge this stuff, right. Okay, so so here's what happened. So I'm going like, ah, this is kind of interesting. You need an outlet. So if I'm going to make a rule for myself, especially like I can't curse, but just I can't curse all. That don't make no sense, right? So I have I have uh, times that I can't curse. For instance, I can curse on my birthday, right? I can also curse. I say curse. I guess uh, I can use foul language. I can use foul language on my birthday, right? I can also use foul language on New Year's Eve, and when I say it's the, a roundabout, you know what I mean? it doesn't have to be the exact day, right? Now, fortunately enough for me, <laughs> New Year's Eve is what it is, uh, the 31st of whatever, right? And my birthday happens to be July 3rd, so they're six months apart, so I get that, you know, I get that, well, seven months, whatever you want to call it, right? It's, it's some time apart, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. So that's a good outlet, I have those two outlets, right? The other time I can curse is in my own household, because sometimes... My wife just pisses me off, you know. 
and cursing, or oh, curse, I'm sorry, uh, foul language is really, it's supposed to be a, 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 a valve, a, a pressure valve, you know what I mean? That, that, that you left off, left, leave, uh, let off steam, you know? I learned that from uh, Jerry Donaldson from Pentecostal Military Fraternity. I'm sorry, go off for just a second. I had a meeting one time, it was funny. <laughs> uh, my line brother, Dennis Spears, he came in late for this meeting. And Jerry was talking or something like that. You know, we were over there. And uh, this is where we're just on 155th Street, man. And uh, uh, Sugar Hill. Don't worry about it. It's Well, Kinecoy is a Pentecostal military fraternity. Don't worry about that part. Anyway, so Dennis comes in late. So, De so Jerry curses at him. You know, well, uses foul language. And Dennis, you know, well, we're all brothers, you know. So it don't matter if you if you are. Everybody's, brother, everybody's equal. Even the founders, we're all equal, right? So then, you know, he said, you, man, it's just foul. You shouldn't be cursing at me, bro. And so <laughs> Jerry backs up. <laughs> and it says in the most eloquent English you could possibly think of, it says the same thing, right? And everything, everything, every, usually in, a, in, a, in our situation, at least in kind of school, everything is a learning moment, right? So what, so what Jerry was explaining is that uh, 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 foul language is a way to release whatever. So he was, he, actually, I think he, Let's say now it's my recollection. I could be wrong. L let me just say this anyway. I, I think he was his way of apologizing, saying that yeah, I was wrong because it didn't warrant. Uh, it didn't do something that was warrant me to, to to lose my temper like like a steam valve, right? So 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 foul language is like a steam valve, but people abuse it all the time, you know, and they use it for cultural reasons, and people just like to use language like you know. Motherfucker, you know, da, da, da. And some some foul language is not really foul language. It's just unacceptable language. Like you say, nigga, you know, well, you know. But then that's in, that's interesting because a whole lot of people want to appropriate that. I'm so glad. That's how rep. Oh, hey, that's how reparations word. That's that's according to a great comedian. Uh, don't want, don't want to put that part. Either. Anyway, the point. Let me go back to the point. So 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 I can I can I can uh, use foul language. In my household, like with my wife, because she she pisses me off a lot of times. You know, yeah, she do, right? But I don't often. You know what I mean? Okay, so um, so she's a love. No, she's not a lovely. This she straight up gangster. We won't get into that right now. The point is, so I can I can use foul language on two day, two days out of the week out out of the year that are you know basically six months apart, and I can use it on uh. At my own in my own household. Now I'm in Lajote house right now, so there's no cursing in Lajote house. We have we have standards here, right? And plus this is a community house, people come in, all this stuff. So I'm not supposed to whatever. I guess they no, so it can't happen here, right? But the other exception that remember this is my rules, this is my ritual. The other exception I have, I can curse on a blue moon. Like once in every blue moon. So this is a blue moon. I can use any fucking language I want. I can use any fucking word I want. I can, I can say, I can curse everybody. I don't, don't, I don't give a darn. I'm a, I'm a damn. I don't give a shit. Use the right, you know, the, the, the unacceptable words, right? And even those words. Think about it. What makes a what what, what makes a, a fucking curse word a fucking curse word, right? It makes it because the the the, the, the so called. I mean, one time, uh, what's that word? Mahalia Jackson. Did a uh, did an album with uh, with uh, Duke Ellington, uh, I think uh, uh, Black Blue Blade Beige. It's the only album that, that she, as a gospel singer, sang with a jazz. You know, I guess Duke, you know, used his charm, you know, his charisma, and got her to do this album. It's the one with Come Sunday on it, right? Uh, anyway, and, and, and there's some outtakes. What are the takes? They say she curses. So everybody said, "Whoa, she curses!" I think it's on the internet too. So you look at the the. the and then her cursing was, then she said like, like, like she, she used Jesus like, uh, or damn, she said, it's some word that this, it's not, you go like, that's not cursing, right? But in that time, in, in her, in her culture, in her, her gospel culture, use the Lord, the Lord's name or Jesus name in vain or, or whatever, that's, that's, that's cursing, you see? So it all just depends. So I just give you this little tidbit because I had to I had to curse today because of the blue moon. I haven't cursed. I mean, I don't really curse that much, you know, but, oh, curse. I keep on saying curse. I usually don't use foul language that much. I don't, you know. It's like, it's something about the vibration. I'm not really into, you know, and plus, oh, I know another reason why I don't use foul language a lot is because everybody doing it. I'm one of those people. I'm a contrarian. If you're doing it, I don't want to, you know, 
I don't want to do it. Right? Oh, wait, somebody say something here. Uh, uh, the the cuss fest, super refined cusser. I see why you really throttle the frequency. Your cussing more than twice a year is a weapon. Oh, that's what that's that's what Ian says. My trust and fire is this. Well, here's the thing. Okay, that's true. I understand what you're saying, but here's the trick, and you know this trick. I'm usually <laughs> I usually travel on New Year's Eve, so there's no reason, right? And I usually travel on my birthday, so. So even if somebody see me cuss, cuss, or you use use inappropriate language, it, no, I have no witnesses, right? So anyway, let me not keep you off. I just had I had to get it in because it's blue moon. I had to I had to get that in there, and so I let you all know. Uh, oh, by the way, so what I'm trying to say is you can make up your own rituals and your own frequencies and your own everything, and you should because a lot of times you're just sheeple. You're falling behind whatever people are saying. You're not making up your own rules, your own rituals. Whatever. Remember, the first rituals were made up by people that didn't have ritual. You know, the first rituals handed down was handed down to people from people who made the who made the darn thing up. Did that, did I say darn? Who made the fucking shit up? You know? Okay. That's that's it. I had to do that. Okay. Check you all later. Be well.